All right, guys. I'm here at the the Eliza furnace. It's another uh, real old furnace. This one's in really good shape. It's really bright out. Uh, this sign's kind of faded. So, you're probably not really going to be able to see it. But I anyway, have a video of the old mine in this area that was under this mountain here. But you can see it there, kind of. I mean, it's really bright out, so. I'm, I'm, it's hard to, it, the sign's faded, it's hard to read, the sun's glaring, but there's a picture. And then this sign here just talks about the people. Like if you look up on, I'm sure if you Google this, you can find all the information that you want on this furnace. And then here's a sign that talks about making charcoal. It'll it'll be a too long of a video video if I sat there and read all those signs. And uh, I'm sorry if a lot of you get angry because I'm not giving enough information. But I mean, Google tells you everything. I go places and I video. I, I show what's there. If you just want to know, I mean, more about it. I mean, Google, Google tells you everything. But this one's in good shape. It even has the big iron pipes up top there. The only thing is this, this one's fenced off. The other one that I was at, uh, the, the Laurel Hill furnace, you could go in. Let's just say this property is listed in the National Registry of Historic Places by the United States Department of of the Interior. And then here's this side here. Yeah, but I had a I had a comment the other day about one of the furnaces I did. Oh, you didn't explain how it was made or what they did or blah blah blah. Well, I mean, I know a lot of people want to hear that and know that stuff, but that's that's not me. I mean, that's I'm. Like for me personally, my channel is not a big channel. You know, I don't get paid for what I do. Uh, I don't have a big channel. So to put in all that extra work for people that, like I mentioned the other day on my, on my wall, I didn't even know if I was gonna make any more videos. It's just not worth it to, to do all that work and have somebody watch two, three minutes of your video. So, this is what I do. I wander around, I show places. If you want to know more about it, Google it. This is the Eliza Furnace. The Eliza Iron Furnace. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be mean, people. I'm just real, and I just, you know what I mean? But that's, uh, that's a nice one. That's in still really good shape. So this is just going to be a couple minute video. I just wanted to I wasn't even sure if I was going to make another video. But there there's a few of you that asked me to keep doing it, so we'll see how much longer it goes on, but I figured you would like this furnace. So, I don't know if I showed you to inside here, this is also, it's fake, you can only go in so far, it's fenced off, but it's pretty cool. 
All right, guys. And then right up here, like I said, there's photos that you can find probably on the internet. There used to be a big building that sat here and other things, but I, I remember seeing a photo before of a big, I forget what it was, but it sat right, right there. But, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to end this one. I hope you liked seeing this uh, Eliza furnace. And uh, I'm going to snap some photos. And hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. All right, guys, here's a sign. I'm going to hold this sign. Just, I'll hold the camera here so you can read, so you can read all that. Hopefully Yins can read it and I'm not looking stupid right now by passing cars. <laughs> Give you enough time to read it all. Some people ain't as fast readers, some people are fast readers, some people aren't fast readers, so that should be long enough. If it wasn't, uh, just pause the video. But yeah, that's the original up top there. That's the heat exchange pipes. I never seen a furnace with that still attached. This is the only furnace that I know of that still has those attached. The, the original heating pipe exchange. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. Catch you on the next one.